Namaste guys and I hope all of you are doing great. Thanks once again for tuning in back to my channel. We are at the third episode where K2 um, explores the third house and how it produces five amazing things based on the experience that I've gathered over the years. Okay, so talk about K2 first. K2 is self um, discovery, analyzing why things are, the ecology of life, um, the what does it makes us bind, you know, the common attribute between all of us, the commonality. It's spiritual, it's esoteric, it's uh, it's you know, as big as the cosmos, K2. Okay? Uh, and of course, spirituality means something is un unknown, right? And, and that is a theme for K2. Okay? It's important to understand that. It is mysterious, it's unknown. Uh, and the third is the house of experiencing life for what is there to offer um, your, you know, when, when you go out by yourself, you know, when you stand on your own feet, trying to understand, trying to make sense of the world. Okay. And of course, whatever that you come into contact, the learnings will be then created into values, which you will be um, keeping it for yourself on the fourth. Okay. So as you can see, it's all connected. So top five amazing things. Number one is you're a person of great knowledge. Now this knowledge is not the usual you know, books and whatnot, uh, but this is more of a divine knowledge. For example, if I were to give you a book about the for forest, learning about the forest, yes, you can, you can read everything about what the forest has, right? The attributes, the, you know, the coldness, uh, the chillness, the air, the, you know, the, the sound of the, uh, you know, things which are in the forest, whatever, right? Everything which is alive in the forest can be read, can be understood. There's no doubt about that. But it's a different thing if you are in the forest, okay, absorbing everything, all the vibrant colors, the sound of the stream, right? The, uh, the, the chillness in the air, uh, the, um, the mysteries which is surrounding, and all these things are uh, learnings in a different level, right? Yes. You can learn this from books and whatnot, but experiencing yourself through your other sensories is the more um, uh, great or profound way of learning. So that's what K2 is, learning things in a more profound way, absorbing itself into understanding what things are, right? Uh, in, in a more profound way, not just memorizing things, but uh, to know the principles of it, the essence of things. Okay, so such great knowledge these people have. They, they rise up very fast in their career, in their school, in their college, very fast because their learnings are different. And of course, you know, still K2 is, uh, you know, it teaches us in, in a different, in a difficult way. So it has its bad points, but this is one of the good, great things which I can find when K2 is well positioned in the third. That's number one. Number two is these people, they're known to work without any kind of a, uh, self doubt or hatred or resentment, nothing. You know, it's sacrifice with the purest of its um, uh, word. They, they just do things because you must do. Okay? They, they just do it right? because it is in the name of service, right? There is nothing associated. Like example, if you're working far away from your family, you're in a different country, but you're working, working for your family. Uh, and then you do it with your full of heart because you know the money that you're going to bring is going to make your family back home comfortable, right? That sort of thing. They don't, they don't have self-doubt. They don't have resentment, nothing like that. They do it because, you know, it's, it's what needs to be done. Uh, they, such a, such a great thing. So I thought that it's a thing that I would like to add as well. Okay, so that's number two. Number three is these people love to travel. The, the slightest opportunity, they're jumping at the slightest opportunity for traveling. Now, this traveling is different than what you may think. The traveling is done by themselves or sometimes with a stranger, right? They, they, they do like that element of um, unknownness, right? So this traveling, rejuvenates, uh, nourishes their soul. It is not just visiting places and take selfies, but it's a place for them to understand and why. And you know, it's not just people, the culture, but also the, the buildings and the architecture and the design. Um, you know, sometimes quaint, sometimes modern, you know, but regardless, traveling nourishes their heart because 
there is an element of learning here. Again and again, you see a theme here, right? Uh, Ketu is mysterious. Ketu is interested in learnings. Okay, so that's, a, that's a third one. Uh, and the fourth is these people are nature lovers, right? They, um, in fact, they understand or they, they understand that we are all, uh, you know, bind together. You know, this ecology that we have within all organisms is such a um, integral part in living. They they accept that. They they have this sense of inclusiveness. They don't see as humans as someone who is a neighbor or a, they don't label them. They see humans as they are, a human being, right? They they have a very inclusive looking uh, perspective. So they're truly into nature that they, you know, they are, you know, they'll do anything when it comes to like, you know, feeding the poor or protecting the, uh, the endangered species and whatnot, right? They are, um, you know, ecologically uh, very strong within them. They understand that they are here to share the world, not not all for themselves, kind of thought process. And of course, remember, the ruler for Ketu, Ketu Bhagwan, is Matsya. Matsya is one of the ten avatars, the fish avatar of uh, Mahavishnu. Uh, and if you look at the story there, uh, you will see that how, um, you know, this was written like 250 CE, around that, this time, 250 to 300 CE. Now, you know, in that time itself, the story, um, uh, you know, the iconography of the fish and how it saves people from the great deluge, the pralaya, the flood, um, is uh, an indication of how we should love to, you know, to be in harmony with the nature, right? So all these things, stories that I've read and associated with Ketu shows again and again the nature uh, of Ketu being loving and caring towards the environment, okay? Uh, so that is the fourth. Did I cover everything? Yes, I did. Number one was the, um, uh, the knowledge, right? The knowledge that it seeks. Number two is the sacrifice. Number three is the traveling. Number four is the um, the, the uh, nature uh, lover. Uh, and number five is the ability to um, project its all its energies, right? When all its energies, all its uh, knowledge, all its being into another person without any kind of uh, limitation. Okay. Normally, you're seeing this in people. Sometimes when you ask them, if you don't know something, probably your teacher or lecturer, professor, even sometimes you're waiting uh, at the bus station or the train station and you meet someone and you casually get into a, um, uh, you know, a dialogue, a talk, and then you ask something that you don't know. And you see the reaction from these people is they'll shed every knowledge that they know without any kind of limitation. You know, they'll just pour it out as if there's no tomorrow, they'll just, you know, keep explaining things about, you know, whatever that you want to know. So these people are not selfish when it comes to um, conveying their message, uh, you know, sharing their knowledge uh, and, um, you, know, you know, making feel, you know, creating an environment where knowledge is free and it must be distributed to everybody. You know, it should not be just within yourself, it should not be like cooped within yourself, it must be you know, assimilate it as much as possible to everyone. So knowledge is, as you can see, the theme gets again and again, right? The third house is such, the third house is for you to explore what is out there. So Ketu being in a spiritual spot, will always talk about knowledge. And one of the key things here in the fifth is to, to share as much as possible that it knows to everyone out there. So such a great thing, um, and I think I've covered all five uh, amazing facts for K2 in the third. And I hope this video is um, somewhat uh, knowledgeable for you too. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you. Namaste.